I think there are sort of three areas in which the work of organisations like 3IE is really important. The first is, you know, we've got a huge opportunity around the global goals now and the agenda around the global goals to really try and collate what we know about really what impacts on people's lives in a positive way. And I think the extent to which organisations can help sort of curate that knowledge, that's a really vital role. I guess the second one would be about, you know, and something that 3IE has has done very well in the past, which is really identifying the what we don't know, <laughs> where the gaps are, um, where we've also got very partial or conflicting evidence and helping to bring that to attention, which can in turn help hopefully redirect efforts around research investment and so forth. And I guess the last thing is around establishing sort of common standards around evidence gathering and evidence, making ev evidence available to users. And that seems to me to be an absolutely essential part of any work within the developing world where sometimes evidence exists but it's actually not very available in forms that are useful to policymakers. So those are the three areas that I think are highly relevant in the current climate. Well I think experience tells us that the uh, uh, policymaking that's evidence informed is generally better policymaking. The challenge is to get sufficient evidence that is both relevant and accessible to policymakers and also to understand the policy cycle and the many places in which evidence can play a role. It's not only at the front end, it's all the way through the policy making cycle, including evaluation and assessment at the end. One of the challenges, I think, in low and middle income countries is really just to have an, enough of a critical mass of good quality evidence that can inform that whole policy cycle. I think uh, checks and balances are absolutely crucial. They're crucial within the sort of universe of how policies get made and they're crucial to the sector of how evidence gets generated. Uh, and, uh, certainly from my perspective and, and now being engaged in scrutiny, the, sort of mo the, the most important checks and balances really are about openness and transparency, which to me is absolutely essential. It's about impartiality and securing as much independence and evidence that's free from vested interests. That's really important. And I guess the third area that I would see as really important is ensuring that evidence, in a sense, is widely accessible. I think evidence that is essentially sort of exists only within ivory towers can sort of lose traction, but also to some extent lose trust if it's not widely accessible and available.